Hello guys, so welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Becoming Big Crown. So guys, we're going to be checking out this video together titled Even the US government is shocked on how Islam changed this dangerous place. Let's check it out. This is O Block. This is a really dangerous neighborhood in Chicago. This place isn't famous for its fancy lights or shiny attractions. It's known for something else. This is the story of O Block and how Islam is changing this place for the good. You won't find its name on most maps, but to the people who reside here, it's much more than just a number on paper. Young men in hoodies and low-riding jeans gather in the courtyards here, staring down strangers. Mothers hurry past, holding tight to little hands as they shuttle between the neighborhood school and the safety of their apartments. The neighborhood wasn't safe for anyone. Security cameras perched on every corner. Security cameras perched on every corner, used to watch over O'Block Strictly, recording the everyday activities of the neighborhood. You may have seen a recent video of Sheikh Uthman entering this area to give da'wah. This is your brother Uthman ibn Farooq in Chicago, O Block. We're here giving da'wah. We're not scared to give da'wah anywhere. Inshallah, wherever it's needed, we're going to go and give da'wah. If we become shuhada, we're ready to become shuhada in the path of Allah, in the path of da'wah. The name O Block wasn't chosen by chance. It carried a heavy history with it. This name emerged from the harsh realities that marked the neighborhood's past. The O in O Block stood for O.D. Perry, a young gang member whose life was tragically cut short one summer night in 2011. This unfortunate incident occurred just around the corner from where O Block stands today. It's worth noting that his assailant was a 17-year-old female gang member by the name of Gakira Barnes. Tragically, Barnes also met her end not far from O Block. During a troubling period, spanning from June 2011 to June 2014, Oblock bore witness to a total of 19 horrible shootings. It was a time when this neighborhood earned the suspicious and unreliable distinction of being the most dangerous block in Chicago. These unsettling events are now part of Oblock's history, a testament to the challenges it faced in the past. The community and the police recognized that something needed to change. O Block and its surrounding area were known as an impact zone, an area demanding highly alerted police presence and innovative strategies. It was time to address the root causes of violence and to protect the vulnerable. Yvonne Gaydon, a resident of O Block, knows this plan all too well. Her son, Edward Riley, lost his life to gun violence on O Block streets in 2011. He was a product of this neighborhood, a young man who grew up here despite its challenges. Yvonne acknowledges her son's imperfections, but refuses to blame him for spending time with his friends in the place he called home. He had warned him about the dangers of O Block, calling it a death trap. However, amid the violence and the challenges that O Block faces, there's a transformation. People in O Block are coming together to practice Islam, a faith that unites people and guides them to not judge people of their troubled past. It's a strong reminder of how the faith in Islam can improve and truly make a difference. O Block, previously a place associated with danger, has transformed into a beacon of hope. This transformation shows us that even in the gloomiest of places, change is always achievable. In 2022, the Chicago Police Department shared some surprising news. They noticed that there were way fewer crimes in O Block compared to the previous year, 2021. The fights between gangs were also happening less often. The police were puzzled. They couldn't figure out why. While the police were scratching their heads, the real reason for the drop in crime was pretty clear. It was Islam. The folks in O Block had started following this faith really quickly. 
Islam brought peace, togetherness, and respect to the neighborhood. Here's how Islam changed things. In Oblak, people from different backgrounds came closer together because of Islam. It made them feel like one big family. They prayed openly on the streets, showing that they wanted peace and didn't want any more violence. With Islam, hope returned to Oblak, and people began to believe in a future without crime. As crime went down, businesses in the area started to do better, and more visitors came, bringing more money to the community. Kids could finally focus on their studies without worrying about violence, and education became a way to build a better life for themselves. Today, Oblak is a place of hope and change. While the police are still trying to figure things out, the people in Oblak know the truth. It's their faith in Islam that's responsible for the drop in crime and fewer fights between gangs. The positive change wasn't limited to Oblak alone. Shootings in the border area also saw a significant drop. Oblak is part of the Chicago Police Department's Beat 312, which covers an area extending east from the Dan Ryan Expressway to Cottage Grove, roughly bordered by 63rd and 65th Streets. Since 2021, the number of shootings in Beat 312 has decreased by a substantial percentage, as reported by the police. The people of Oblak understand that faith can bring about big changes. Islam not only transformed their neighborhood, but also gave them hope for a brighter future. It's proof that when communities come together for peace, even the toughest problems can be solved. Wow, man, that was a very sad news, guys. I love the fact that um, things change drastically in that area. One thing me always believe in that the religion you want to you want to actually convert to does not actually matter. It doesn't matter. It's the peace that comes with you accepting the religion that that's what matters. Just imagine those hoodlums, you know. Imagine the the, 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 the bad things they go through, you know, how they terror, terrorize each other, you know, how some people died along the line because of the life they lived. But immediately they somebody got to you know witness Allah like he was introduced to Islam. Before you know it, every other person followed his footsteps. That's to tell you that you know there's always peace when you know God. When you know God, you find peace. There's nothing like having peace of mind. You know when you when you know God, even though you want to do something bad, you want to do evil. The fact that you know God, you know, give you, you will not have that mind to do that evil because you'll be like, ah, even not for God that saved, even not for God's sake, I would have been like this, I would have done this. That's that, that, that is always putting us right on track, even though we want to do something evil, maybe somebody do evil to us and you want to pay back. You'll be like, no, I can't pay back with evil because, because of God, because of what God has done in my life. So I'm just really happy. For the fact that ever since this set of people discovered Islam, their lives changed, the neighborhood changed, the peace came to the neighborhood. As I said, the religion you want to accept does not really matter. You accepting God and accepting Him wholeheartedly and serving Him diligently, that's what actually matters. And Wow, I'm really happy to hear this good news. Wow, amazing, amazing video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more likes, share, and comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.